Alright guys, so as you can see today we are on Mirage and I'm going to be showing you our default setup for A in this video. So here on Mirage this is A main and over here is Palace. So in our default we're either going to have 4 going A main and 1 Palace or 3 going A main and 2 going Palace depending on who throws the CT smoke. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the basic smoke, stairs, which you just line up here on this little pillar on these stairs, right? You just come here in the middle of it, and then you'll look over here, and you see this little, like, oval shape, not oval, rectangle shape right here. You're just going to want to throw it in the middle of here, so it's like there. Generally, you want to throw it more in the left and middle of it, if you don't know for sure. And as you can see, this blocks off stairs and will halt a CT holding from here. This will also halt a CT that could be holding from here. Yeah, holding from here is you can jump out here and watch Palace. So that's just for Palace players. Um, that's pretty much the only way you ever see it thrown. There's no jumping or walking, so people usually tend to just do that. Okay, next I'm going to show you the jungle one, just because I'm going to do CT last, because it's the hardest, and I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. So jungle, this is one I invented. So first you come up here on those stairs in a little balcony. And you're going to put your smoke out and look down and crouch walk. Because as you can see, you kind of walk pretty fast on that little jagged edge, right? You're going to crouch and line up and wait till your crosshair gets on there. Yeah. And then you're going to look over here and throw it so, like, just a little bit of your crosshair goes into that triangle right there. Like that. Every now and then it does clip on that, which is kind of annoying, but if you get it right, it should bounce off of the edge of stairs, hit there, and land in the middle, which will block off anybody holding right here, and also block off anybody playing in connector here. Meaning that if somebody is rotating from B and playing cat, they couldn't see you here either. Like so. So, finally we're going to show you the CT. CT is pretty complicated. Um, first I'm going to be showing you how to throw the way, as you guys know it, as Cody throws it, okay? So, Cody throws it from here, which I haven't seen a whole lot, but personally I prefer this way, after trying out Ben's way of doing it as well. But basically, you line up here, get your smoke out, and put your crosshair right on the edge of this little plank coming out of Palace, and you just do a jump throw. Now, obviously jump throws are a little inconsistent, but it normally should do its job, no matter really where it lands. As you can see... Right here, there's no gaps. The only way you could really get a gap is if you come up here and look over, which, in that case, you can really only see Tetris, which is not great. But as you can see, sometimes, depending on how you jump throw it, you can get a little extra boost up, and it lands right here. And right then, if it lands here, you're pretty much set. Then it's almost impossible, just that extra little height. As you can see, you can still see the top of Tetris, but you can't really see us coming out of A main for the most part. And even so, we could kill them if they were doing that. So, again, that'll hold off pretty much anybody here playing CT. Finally, we're going to show you the other way CT is thrown. Uh, I know there's a way where you throw it from, like, here, but I found that one to be kind of complicated, even though this is one pros use the most. I preferred Cody's jump throw in that situation. But the way Ben Green throws his is... Kind of weird to me, because running, which I find more inconsistent than jump throw, even though it isn't, but just due to the fact that Cody's, no matter kind of where you jump throw it, will always land in the right spot, I kind of prefer that. But it's almost the same lineup. You come here on the corner of this little edge here, right? And then you just aim your crosshair a little bit over. For me, depending on your crosshair length, since mine's a little bit longer, I overlap it just a little bit with that plank, right? Pull it, and then walk throw. And it should, if you're right, like, bounce off of there. Yeah, okay. Good, I keep on missing up that smoke. But as you can see, I don't prefer this one just because there is a gap where you can see where they're planning. Like, that's under Palace right there on that little, like, bar right there. So that means that's the default plant position. Which, generally, I would say you wouldn't want to plant for in this scenario. So, as you can see, if you're here and you have a smoke here, smoke here, and smoke here, I would genuinely say, unless he walks out and realizes, oh man, this smoke right here is perfect, you'd probably want to plant for A main, which if you don't know, playing for A main is right here. So then your bomb will be, as reference, I'm putting this here. So your bomb is going to be right there, right? And you can just watch it from here. 
super easy. You don't have to even peek into CT if you hold it correctly because you can point right at the edge. And really all you have to do is hold stairs in here and then peek out like that. I believe it can be seen from Palace too, but not very well because it's blocked from that. Yeah, you can kind of see it, which it's not going to be easy, but since we have two people going Palace, it could work. I'd say for the most part though, on a strat like this, if we're trying to plant for A main, since we're having... I'm going to say we want to throw it Cody's way, but if you throw it Ben's way, it doesn't matter. We're going to have four A main and one Palace. I would have three come out A main and one come out Palace. Now, a way to work with this is with Molotovs. So, generally, generally, I should say, you want to have three Molotovs for this setup, or two if you can get the two people to go Palace. And that's because the one person Palace can just peek here at this one position. You don't necessarily have to Molly it. If there's only one person palace, though, we don't really want to risk him doing that and dying in a 1v1, whereas if there's two, we could trade it. So if there's only one, we'll probably want to molly like that. Unless, because obviously we're only throwing three smokes, if we can get the four people to come A main and the one to go palace, or etc., we're going to have one extra person here, right? Because Cody, after throwing his smoke from back here, would go into palace. So that'd be the three and two. So we'd have an extra person A main no matter what, and they could just hold this angle. And if they know nobody's coming into Sandwich, you don't have to molly that, obviously. And that makes it much safer for our uh, Palace players. Okay, so the mollies you want to throw, since we'll have CT smoked, we won't have to worry about that. What we'll want to molly from here is off of that little wall right there. And that'll go ahead and molly triple. Which, this is a very good molly. You definitely want to know this one. So that'll flush anybody out of triple, and if you're having this person that's supposed to just sit a main still posted on this angle, he's going to flee out this side. There's no chance he tries to flee across here, because I mean, come on, you're running through here with no cover, whereas here you're just trying to get from here to here, and get cover, or here into the smoke into CT. Either way, that's a good thing to do. Okay, next. Ever since, I don't know if you guys remember, but this... Wood plank didn't used to be here. You would just have to take your guess and molly it off of here. Now, I'm not going to put a bot under here. Like, whoa. I'm not going to put a bot under here like that, just because he would actually burn and die. So we're going to keep him over here. But basically, as you can see, you just come from out of A main here, and like as soon as you can throw it, you just kind of go bang. And no matter what, they'll always kind of bounce under here. Now, I found like the best way to do it is to be at like a more obtuse angle. So like the wider out you can go the better and the more to the left side of this you can throw it the better and then you can get it in even deeper. Now obviously as you can see this doesn't hit right here. So that's probably the one flaw of this Molotov. It does not hit on that box but a good thing is since you have everything else mollied you can come up here and look at people there. So let's see if I can put a bot on here and like visualize it. Yeah perfect. So as you can see, you can just come up here onto here and see them. Obviously not the easiest way to see them, but you would be able to see them. Also, his head's kind of sticking through it, but you can wall bang through here. Also, another thing I want to show you. I think I remember it correctly, but you line yourself up like this with a molly. This is one way you could do it from Palace. And then you don't move, and then you throw it from here. Uh, just off, but pretty close. Uh, I think you aim more kind of in like that corner there. Either way, kind of a cool Molotov. Obviously, I keep my mouse down, so it'd be a little hard to throw. But it's somewhat along the lines of that, and it will bounce down here and just molly everyone out of this area. So yeah, that's pretty much all for the A take. Again, I'll show it to you with smoke so you can see all what is going to be smoked off. So you're going to have here smoked off, here smoked off, and here smoked off. So when you're coming out of A main, it should look something like this. You should realize kind of nothing's covered. If you can molly here, really the only places you have to worry about, as long as you molly here as well, the only ways you have to worry about is on that box right there, which I'm going to move you. Obviously, if you have the guy that holds sandwich, they won't be there. So you really just have to worry about there and there. And if you can molly him out of there, the only place left is really firebox. Ninja. Or if they're just holding like an angle here slash here, which you never see people sit here. So that's really all you have to worry about. Another thing they could do, but 
is obviously really stupid if they do that, is if you smoke right there, right? And they decide they want to, like, run out through here, so they can, like, kind of peek this angle like this. But I'm going to put down a spray again. So you can kind of, okay. Yeah, you can kind of see how we would be very easy able to see them because that was a very clear graffiti so they're just gonna be kind of sticking out here not in the smoke even though they're in the smoke on their screen so that's it thank you all for watching and take care peace